Hey everybody, welcome back to Recordology. Okay, we've talked about them quite a bit, but we've actually never reviewed one until now. This is a suitcase record player. This is the Victrola portable Bluetooth turntable. So we're going to give it a, a review. We're going to unbox it and uh, see what we think about it. Uh, this is available in a variety of colors. This is in a beautiful sort of baby blue, sky blue. So uh, yeah, let's get right into it and uh, see what these are all about. Um, you know, we've reviewed the technology behind these. Uh, they are the entry point for so many people looking to get into vinyl, which is a great thing um, because this uh, gets them interested. These are affordable, and um, I'll put a link um, in the description where you can get this Victrola on Amazon. You know, and it's a, it's a great starting point. They're portable. They've got a lot of features that people want, and... Um, you know, it gets them on the road to, uh, to collecting vinyl. So you can, uh, if you don't have a record player yet, uh, this is a great option for you. you these go for, you know, um, you know, $50 and less in some cases. So, you know, for not much money, you can be up and running with a record player. And these are self-contained, so you don't need any sort of a stereo system or extra equipment of any sort. Uh, everything you need is in this one package. So, uh, again, it's a great option. Um, these are available in a variety of colors and patterns. You can uh, choose uh, which one you want. There's about everything you can imagine available for colors. So um, it is light. It is smaller than you might uh, think, um, smaller than I thought it was going to be. Um, it's got sort of a leatherette surface to it, uh, nice metal corners to protect it from getting dinged up. Um, like I said, it's self-contained, so the speakers are built in, and we'll go through all of that. Uh, but yeah, you can take this guy anywhere you want, and, um, you know, completely portable. On the back, it's got the, uh, uh, connections right on the back there for output, stereo output. Your power cord, obviously. Um, all man-made materials, um, and all the, you know, normal sticker stuff on the back there, the hinges. Uh, sound isolating feet, which is important to keep, uh, things from... You know vibrating too much and whatnot uh, considering that the speakers and the unit are self-contained it's important that the sound is as isolated as possible there so that's a good thing okay so let's go ahead and pop it open as you can see unboxing was pretty minimal it was just a couple of styrofoam ends in a bag so that's nice and handy popping this guy open this is cool it's got uh i'm gonna scoot this forward a little bit so you can see that so it, in the lid here ooh, that's kind of fuzzy actually i bet you can't see that but that's actually kind of a fuzzy surface in there that's kind of cool typical um, packing materials here to make sure that everything arrives in one piece so that's good we'll set those aside um, it comes with an instruction an instruction manual as well as power cord so we'll go ahead and unwrap that stuff important to have obviously and this thing has a variety of controls on it, which we'll go through, but probably got to start by plugging her in. So, got a handy wall outlet on the side here. And I'm going to spin it around and plug right in. Now, on the back there, if you noticed, uh, the panel where the uh, power and the audio connects has got a little film that, you know, you should pull off, the protectant film. But for sake of speed, I left it on. One thing that's really cool um, that Victrola does uh, a lot of times is they include extra materials. So here we have this thing right here, and it looks like it may be a needle uh, or a stylus, I should say. But let's go ahead and open it up and see exactly what it is. Probably could learn all this by reading the manual, but this is more fun. So this is really interesting. It's like styrofoam. I bet you this is a stylus. Yeah. So cool, check that out. You get a replacement stylus. That's really neat. And what a great way to protect it in there like that. I know that the Victrola 6-in-1 unit that we reviewed also came with replacement styli. And uh, yeah, so definitely hold on to that. Set it aside. Um, you know, for those of you that are have already dropped off the video to comment that um, these suitcase record players will, you know, damage your records, they will not. Uh, again, these track at about uh, five grams, which is well within the standard spec of three to seven that 
records are designed to be played at in terms of down pressure on the stylus. Um, so yeah, don't worry about that. Go take out the twisty tie. I'm going to remove the uh, stylus protector here. It's on there pretty good. All right, now we're ready to roll or spin. All right, setting these materials aside, remember that um, stylus, you really want the replacement stylus to be set aside somewhere. Um, let's go ahead and take a closer look right now at some of the controls. Okay, so uh, taking a little bit of a closer look here, you can see we have a line input. Let me use my hand on this side. Uh, line input, so you can connect uh, CD players, tape players, anything that doesn't have uh, Bluetooth connectivity. Um, and that will use the speakers on the front of the unit. We have a knob that selects, um, let's see, you can't quite see the BT. There you go, Bluetooth, BT, line input, and phono being the phonograph, the record player. So this is your input select. Um, so if you want line in, you uh, select line input. Uh, down here we have a combination of power and volume. Oh, it's got a good snap to it. Ooh, I like the purple light, that's really cool. Um, and you know, it's, it's a heavy knob. You know when you turn a knob and it's got some weight to it? This one does. So to me, again, that's a quality item right there. I like that. And then you've got your headphone input right there. So you can listen to headphones if you want to enjoy records without disturbing uh, those around you. Now, a little bit harder to see, but uh, up here, you've got an auto stop switch, which is kind of interesting. So if you want the record player to automatically stop when you get to the end, uh, you flip the auto stop on. If you want it to just spin around in the... Uh, in the end loop there uh, without it stopping just flip that to off that's pretty unique most record players either have that enabled or don't they don't allow you to choose it this is a three speed player so you've got 33 45 and 78 and that will allow you to play all three speeds of records that are you know commonly used for the 78s do you know that this is a micro groove stylus so it's that one mil stylus that's designed for you know modern records 45s and 33s so if you put it on a 78 uh, setting, even though it'll be spinning at 78 RPM, that needle um, will not fill the groove completely. So it's not damaging to the needle, it's not damaging to the record, but the sound, it'll be a little bit noisier um, because that record, if you think of the groove as being wider on a 78 and the needle, the stylus is being thinner, it's kind of bottoming out versus a wider stylus that would fill that better and you know get the information off of the groove walls uh, more efficiently. A thinner needle still gets it and follows the, you know, the basic contour of the groove, but it does it at the expense of a lot of surface noise. But just know that, again, for what we're doing here, totally fine, totally acceptable. Buy 78s, enjoy them, they'll sound good. And um, if 78s are something you wanna get into, um, then a record player that has a removable stylus that you can put a, you know, a three mil stylus on will be the way to go. Okay, you know, this is kind of a cool angle, uh, so let's just go ahead and test her out at this angle. I'm going to uh, grab a record here and place it on the platter. Let me, let me mention too, the uh, 45 RPM adapter sits right up here. For some reason this one is installed upside down, but Okay, it's going to come out, I promise you. Pull this guy out. It's in there really good. There we go. Okay, so our 45 RPM adapter lives right up there. We'll put it right side up, and you just that way it comes out easier. But if we're playing 45, just put that on there. No problem at all. Okay, we're going to go ahead and put our record on now. We're going to be listening to a little bit of Walt Disney's Cinderella. Um, Remove the catch from the uh, stylus, uh, from the tone arm, excuse me. Make sure we're set at the right speed. We're on the phono input. Our volume is up a little bit there. Now this has a cueing lever, which is awesome. So using the cue lever, you can raise it and then rotate the stylus over the record. It starts spinning automatically. And um, this the cueing lever allows you to lower and raise the stylus without having to, you know, do it with your hands so you don't drop it or you don't uh, put it down too forcefully. So, all right, let's go ahead and give this a little bit of a listen. That's got to be pretty short because we got to be copyright friendly, but let's give this guy a listen. And I dropped it a little too far over the edge, so I'm going to manually lift it over there. That was my fault. Okay, here we go.
Okay, uh, again, copyright-wise, I can't play too much of that. Um, obviously, that was a very uh, short listen. Um, but the speakers sound full. I mean, they sound like, you know, what you would expect for a quality speaker of that size to sound like. Um, so I think you'd really get a lot of enjoyment out of that. All right, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to pause the video, and I'm going to try out a couple different records and gauge the sound quality a little a bit. So I will be right back. Okay, I'm going to be playing some Lady Gaga, and I know I use this one a lot, but it's very dynamic, uh, well-recorded audio. So it works uh, really good to test the quality of sound on a turntable. So I'll put that bad boy on there like that. We'll raise our stylus. This time I'm going to put it far enough over that we actually get on the record. And give her a listen here. Really trying to gauge the quality of those speakers. Again, there's a warp in that record, my apology. Okay, okay. You know, it, it sounds good. Um, I have it close to the off position there, so I can't decide. Um, it sounds good. You know, I, I like it. It's definitely a quality sound that will uh, you will be able to enjoy when you're in fairly close proximity. This probably wouldn't be the record player to, you know, use as your sole audio device at a party. But if for private listening or a, a medium to small size room, uh, this would fill it adequately, I believe. Um, the sound is full. It, you you know you get a full range spectrum of audio. You get bass. You get uh, bright high end. Um, so the uh, sound staging is uh, well balanced and uh, uh, more than adequate uh, for this size and type of a player. And again, for the cost, you know you're getting so much because you can also do Bluetooth. Um, and to you know pair the device, I'm not going to go through you know all the details of how to do everything, but. Uh, with this player, you also get Bluetooth connectivity, so you can pair it um, as you would any other type of Bluetooth speaker and uh, play audio digitally through that as well. So it gives you some a lot of options. So this essentially is a self, uh, a fully enclosed sound system. You've got any kind of audio device you want to hook up line in. You've got any kind of device you want to Bluetooth connect, and obviously, you know, three speeds of record. So... For those of you in an apartment or you want a record player and you don't have a lot of space and you don't you know, want to invest in all the other components, this is going to be perfect for you because you're going to get everything um, in a very small package. So you know, when you're done, make sure you put the stylus lock back on, uh, just close the lid, and you are ready to go in this uh, self-contained portable device. So a really good option. I would highly recommend it. And uh, something that you would want to consider if you know your space limited, um, and uh, you want something that's quality. You know, Victrola name has been around for decades and decades and decades, and now um, continues again with a lot of really cool devices and exciting sort of retro tech and modern tech uh, that we'll be reviewing in the future. Uh, some of their cool stuff they're coming out with, uh, but wanted to you know take a look finally at one of these suitcase players. And um, are they, you know, these, these machines right here, um, these suitcase players are largely responsible for the uh, resurgence in vinyl because, you know, it's a portable thing, it's affordable, it's cool, it'll fit into any space, and the quality's good. So I would highly recommend it. Definitely a lot of bang for your buck, a lot of versatility. So, all right, guys, that's all for now. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. Happy record hunting as always, but we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.